Hi there. So why a year for impactful change? Some say 21 days, some say 66, some say 90. And those timelines aren't wrong per se, they're just a little less stable in my experience. I found in my decades of curating conscious awakening that it takes more than days. And you can probably look back on your own life and see that too. So what I've learned is that a commitment for a year carves out very solid shifts and three things tend to accompany this choice. The first is the mind sort of says, hmm, okay, looks like she's sort of serious about this, so we'll have to go along for the ride, rather than what I've watched my mind do with the smaller time frames, which is, okay, we'll give her those 90 days, but then we'll throw a curveball sometime after that, and it'll knock her off course. And darn it if it usually doesn't knock me off course. That's what I've noticed. But a year, a whole year, allows for solid footing, where curveballs are way less less likely to take me out and knock me off center. The second thing is the confidence and the trust that gets built up with small successes over time in a year's time, and this is a big deal. It's solid ground, it's a new path to walk on, and you own it. And the third thing is that when you take an off-ramp, which is inevitable, in this case I'm calling an off-ramp like falling off the wagon or getting sidetracked or tripping and falling, on a year's journey it doesn't feel as devastating because there's plenty of time to get back on track. Choosing a shorter time frame is a little more stressful because an off-ramp could blow the whole deal, or at least that's how it feels. And here's the thing, our best teacher is what we learn when we trip and fall or take an off-ramp. It shows us where and how that happens. It's an awareness piece, and this awareness teaches us how to be more conscious and trip less as we keep moving forward. In more compressed time frames, that trip feels like a failure that's unrecoverable. So it's so easy to throw in the towel. And while in the spaciousness of a year, it's easier to see and mine the gold in the stumble and to recover good footing again and to keep moving, all the while feeling the momentum building. And that feels good and that's inspiration to sort of, and motivation to stay on the path. I love to use the analogy of the Titanic. It's like if that Titanic is heading towards the iceberg, and let's say we could change that outcome today even knowing what we all know. It takes time. It's not like we can just tap on the brake and stop that big ocean liner, right? We have to sort of do take the time it takes to slow the ocean liner down from the inevitable hitting of the iceberg. And then it takes time to turn that ocean liner because it's a big ship, right? And that you, you can't just turn on a dime. And then it takes another little pocket of time to get oneself building that ship, in this case, building momentum uh, on a new course, a new track, heading in a different direction that isn't the iceberg. And our the changes that we want to make in life are very similar. And so it's it's kind of why I love this analogy because it helps us understand that certain things simply just takes the time that it takes and that that's okay. You know, it's, um, it's our mind that wants to trick us into believing that it should be shorter and then beat ourselves up for it, us not being successful with it. So why not give ourselves the time that it takes so that we don't have to crash, right? Any time frame is valuable to have shifts, right? So I figure why not choose the time frame that has proven to me anyway to give me the best chance of lasting success. And here's the deal. I always tell myself this, the year's going to pass anyway. Being intentional and focused makes for the passing of that time to matter in a much more solid way. And I invite you to join me in this complimentary creative journey that we'll take together. I know you will be a better woman in a year's time for your saying yes. So if you want to just click the link next to this video and it'll take you to a blog at the bottom of the blog, you can click on the invitation to say yes and then we'll get started right away. And I really look forward to... Um, um, sharing the journey with you. And uh, until then, I'll see you there. Lori Morse in Creative Love and Wholeness.